Pastor Wolf Mueller with Three Minute Parables here at Concordia University, Austin, Texas, Higher Things Retreat, Summer 2021, Three Minute Parables. This is the parable of the wise and the foolish virgins. See if we can do it in three minutes. Ready? Go. Matthew 25, the kingdom of heaven, Jesus says, shall be likened to 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps, but they took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. And when the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. At midnight, a cry was heard, behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. So all the virgins arose, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. Now the wise answered saying, no, lest there should not be enough for us and for you, but go to those who sell, buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went with him to the wedding and the door was shut. And afterward, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, assuredly, I say to you, I don't know you. Watch therefore, for you don't neither the day nor the hour in which the son of man is coming. Now this, Jesus tells this parable so that, he, so that we would be ready for the last day, right? So we'd be ready for his coming and the great judgment day. And on that day, there's gonna be a division, the sheep and the goats, the good fish and the bad fish. And here, the wise and the foolish virgins. Five are wise because they had oil in their lamp. Five are foolish because they did not. Now, the whole point of this parable is this old idea of the oil lamp. You would have a little lamp and you would put oil in it and you'd have a wick and that wick would pull up the oil and so you could have a little flame. That was the ancient world's flashlight. And every lamp has a little bit of oil in it so you can light it. But the point is that they weren't expecting this long delay. They thought, well, we'll just light our lamps now. We don't have to be ready to wait all through the night. The bridegroom's not gonna come at midnight. That's the terrible time for a wedding. So they didn't think that they were gonna have to wait. And Jesus says that that's spiritual foolishness. We have a long time of waiting, waiting, waiting for the Lord. In fact, that's what our Christian life is. It's a life of, of waiting for the Lord Jesus to come. And so wisdom is knowing that we are in it for the long haul. It's easy, like especially at a retreat like this, to just get excited about the Lord's word, but our whole lives are, are hearing the Lord's word, rejoicing in his gifts, and delighting in his mercy. So what's the oil in the lamp? Is it faith? Is it the Holy Spirit? Is it the word of God? Is it the good works that we do in response to these things? The answer is yes, the oil is a readiness to wait and endure even suffering, to be ready for the Lord to come at any time. So this is a question. How are we ready for the Lord's return? How do we know that I'm ready for Jesus to come back? Is it to be holy and pure and sinless and perfect so that Jesus will come back and be like, hey, I'm proud of you, you never made any mistakes? No, to be ready for Jesus is to know that our sins are forgiven, that his blood has made us righteous and holy. And that's what the parable means. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.